Okay, in today's video we're going to talk a little bit about uh, print head rebalancing. Uh, occasionally over time uh, these print heads will get out of alignment uh, slightly and you'll start to get print quality that may look like this where it's uh, uh, on one side and um, the other is printing properly or both sides can be a uh, um, faded print. So it's a little bit of a complex process. Um, it involves two locking screws that are recessed back here and then in here recessed are two adjustment screws. And once these locking screws are unlocked then these adjustment screws allow the print head to move forward or backward and that affects the print quality. Unfortunately it's just a trial and error process. Um, so what I recommend is to, in whatever program you're using to print from, set up a test pattern like this. Uh, in this case it's on our styrene pot stakes, just a series of zeros. Uh, alternately you can do it on a uh, pressure sensitive label. Uh, either works fine. So right now it's calibrated uh, properly. Everything's balanced correctly. And I have the printer in pause mode then what I do is I send a print queue of say 100 labels or 100 stakes in this particular case and I just feed it forward just a few labels at a time that way I don't waste material because as I said before it's a trial and error process and uh, you can go through a lot of material so what happens when we undo the locking screws so this is going to allow us to adjust the print head back and forth so I'll show you kind of what happens now when you adjust these screws in the front, what may happen to the print quality. So again, I'll just advance. So I'm changing the angle of the print head on the pot roller and, and then see how it starts to go out of adjustment. So that's <coughs> kind of the process of what's happened after you get to the state. And so this has to be rebalanced so we can get print uh, good quality across the whole label or pot stake. So in this case, since I was going clockwise, I would have to go counterclockwise to bring it back into balance. And again, it can take just a little bit of adjustment and there you see it, it's perfectly balanced. So at that point, when it's rebalanced, if you have to do it to either to the right or the left or both sides, you just go back in, tighten down the locking screws, and then you're set to print. And there is one other aspect that can come into play here, and that's the green cam knob. And I don't recommend adjusting that too often. Um, it's a very sensitive uh, device, and that also affects the print quality as well. And you can try it, but if you do use this, only do increments of maybe a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch at a time, because what this does is it changes the pressure from the left or the right side. So let me show you what the print quality will look like if we readjust this cam knob. So what I've done is I have less pressure now on the left side and that's affected my printing. So again, that's one of the things that may or may not be the problem if you do experience this type of print quality. So what we need to do is just allow pressure to go back, a little counterclockwise motion, and then we're rebalanced and printing is ready to go.